Hi, I'm Margie Ramers Davis with Crystal Clear Cashflow, creator of the Fast and Easy Way to QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor Certification. Today, we're going to be walking through one of the exercises from our basic level course, Section 1, Lesson 10, which is all about additional lists. This is one of two exercises that is currently in the course um, that deal with the, these extra lists that you find under the gear icon. Um, this lesson is an optional lesson. There are, um, th there's not really a whole lot that you need to know for the purposes of the test about this, um, but I always like to throw in some practice exercises so that you can get a feel for um, just kind of how this works and for your own edification and for your future work with clients. So our, so our exercise for today is um, creating payment terms. Now, payment terms are used when, um, whenever a customer has a, an amount of time before they have to pay. Okay, so a net 30 means that you have 30 days until you have to pay that invoice. And the terms go both ways. So it is the terms that you give your clients uh, or that your client gives their customers. Um, and it also is terms for how much, how long you have to pay your bills that come in. So it works both ways. Let's take a look at today's scenario. So um, Craig has decided to allow some of his customers to pay his invoices within 45 days. How would you add this to the list of available terms when creating invoices? All right, so let's take a look at how we do this. First of all, we're going to log into the sample company, which I have done right here. Um, this would be a good time to stop and tell you that if you would like a copy of this exercise uh, or you would like to find out more about our courses, or if you need to find out how to log into the sample company and get your free QBOA account, then uh, all that information is down below in the links. All right, so here we are. We have logged into the sample company. The next thing that we need to do is we need to click on that gear icon. And from the gear icon, we're going to select all, oops, we're going to select all lists. Okay. And this is the list of all of the different, uh, the, this is a list of lists, right? This is all the lists that are uh, available in QuickBooks Online. And what we're going to be dealing with uh, in this practice exercise are the terms. So here we're going to go to terms. And then from the terms screen, we're going to click the new button, okay? And from here, we have an op the opportunity to uh, set up terms that are a fixed number of days or have it be a certain day of the month. So if you always want them to be paid by the last day of the month, and then you can say, well, hey, if, I, if they are always due on the last day of the month, but I don't send it until the day before the last day of the month, then I can give them a grace period. That's what that bottom part is. But for the purposes of this um, exercise, all we're going to do is we're going to say that the name of the terms is net 45. We're going to keep due in fixed number of days checked. Um, and right here, we're going to say it's 45 days. And then all we have to do is save it. Okay, so now it is here in my list, and anything that I do that has terms, I'm going to be able to see that in the list. So let's say, for example, if I want to do create um, an invoice, let me just get rid of that. So here I am creating an invoice, and right here you see that's where the terms are, and right here is the drop down. And you'll notice my new net 45 is in the drop down. Um, but also a quick tip is that another way to add new terms is just to click add new right here. And you have the ability to do that um, that way as well. All right. So that is it for our lesson today. If you found this exercise helpful, give us a thumbs up. If you would like to be notified every time we post a new video, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell. And of course, if you have any questions about this, uh, about this exercise or about the courses in general, make sure you comment below and I will get back to you right away. So that's it for me. I will see you next time.